Okay, in this video we're going to go over number two from the 2017 Calc AB exam, and um, it's a question about bananas. And it's really just a, kind of a classic rate in, rate out question with a tiny little twist. Um, so what we know is that a store has 50 pounds of bananas in a display table uh, when the store opens. And then there's two rates that we're given. So we're given the rate in and the rate out. So I defined them on my calculator right away, so stored them. And uh, make sure you're in radians because there's trig functions. Just in general in calculus, make sure you're in radians. And we're also told uh, two things. So we know that f of t is um, the rate at which uh, the bananas are removed from the display table. And that applies from 0 to 12. And so that is the rate out. And we're also told that g of t is the rate at which employees add bananas. So that's the rate in. But g of t is only valid from 3 to 12. So that's going to be important as we go through and do the problem. Um, and both of them are in uh, pounds per hour. And t is hours after the store opened. So that's what we basically know. Question A is um, pretty typical of these types of questions. You're almost always asked to integrate one of the two functions. Um, so this one says how many pounds of bananas are removed. So that would just be the rate out uh, in the first two hours the store is open. So it's uh, we want to integrate the rate out from 0 to 2. So it's going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of the rate out, which is f of t dt. Grab a calculator, punch it in, and we get about 20.051. And then uh, the question is how many pounds? So this will be in pounds. And if you integrate pounds per hour, you're just going to get pounds. Um, so the next question is find f prime of 7, so pure calculator. Um, so f prime of 7 is approximately negative 8.120, and then f is in pounds per hour, and we took the derivative with respect to time, which is an hour, so it's pounds per hour squared, or pounds per hour per hour. Um, and now we have to um, interpret this in the context of the problem, or explain the meaning. So um, f of t is the rate at which uh, bananas are removed. So I'm going to say that the rate at which bananas are removed um, at exactly t equals 7 hours after the um, store opens, I guess. So I'm going to say uh, t equals 7 hours is decreasing because f prime um, of 7 is negative, so it's decreasing. And then I'm just going to say by 8.120 pounds per hour squared. So not a lot of thought going into that. I just kind of uh, read what the function is telling me and then write down the answer in the context of the problem. Um, I always feel like I'm not doing a good job grammatically when I answer those questions, but it doesn't really matter because uh, that's an answer that gets credit. Uh, the next question is, is the number of pounds of bananas on the display table increasing or decreasing at time t equals 5? And then we need to give a reason. So uh, oh, I also, uh, I'm showing you my calculator here. I forgot that I did that. Um, so you can see I just punched in everything and just kind of took the answers that it gave me. Uh, okay, so increasing or decreasing at t equals 5 and give a reason. So increasing or decreasing, I'm just going to do rate in minus rate out. And if the overall rate is negative, then the number of bananas is decreasing. If it's positive, then the number of pounds is increasing. So use calculator to find g of 5 minus f of 5. And this gave me negative 2.263. That's in pounds per hour. And now I just need to say that uh, therefore decreasing. So I'm going to say since g of 5 minus f of 5 is less than 0, the number of pounds of bananas is decreasing at t equals 5 hours. Um, so not super complicated. And then uh, in part d, we want to find how many pounds of bananas are on, display, on the display table at time t equals 8. So this is where um, the domains of those functions come in. So if you remember, um, f of t is valid from 0 to 12, but g of t is only valid from uh, 3 to 12. So since it's only 3 to 12, when we do the, uh, you know, the amount you start with, which is 50, so it's 50 plus um, the rate in, or the integral of the rate in, so plus the, the amount that you add, which is just going to be the integral from 3 to 8 of g of t dt, 
and then minus anything you remove, so it's going to be minus the integral from 0 to 8. So those bounds are not the same. This is the first time I remember that happening on an AP question, um, so you can probably expect that to happen a lot more in the future. Um, but it's, it's not tough, you just have to you know, focus on those domains, which is probably hard to do when you're in the middle of taking the test, but uh, you'll get used to it. And so I used calculator to get that, so let's take a look at the calculator screen that gave me all the answers on this page, right there. So I did it in one shot. Um, and that's the entirety of the problem. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.